Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel and today we're on season 4, episode 8 of The Good Place. The last one was intense to say the least. So yeah, let's wait and see what happens now the clock's run out. All the intro guys, here we go. See what this guy's got to say. Tell us what happened. Did we win? Did we lose? Is humanity saved forever? John and Brenton, actually, I don't care about any of those doofs. Where's Cheaty? Oh, he's on the toilet. Put them in the bathroom, and I place Cheaty on the toilet. The best seat. <laughs> Janet. Oh, humans have to stay here. You can't see the numbers. I worked my ash off. Yes, and here's a bottle of tequila. Okay, let us know how it goes. <laughs> I love her. She's so easily swayed, <laughs> distracted even. She might just snap her fingers and send us flying into different dimensions. How was that? Did I cheer everyone up? She looks great in those colors. They graffitied a red lobster about you. Yeah, in Jacksonville, that's the first stage of grief. Put your body out on a shooting range and you get a $200 state tax credit. <laughs> Let's throw ourselves the funeral to end all funerals. <laughs> Ugh, the judges changed. Yay, Sean. Pathetic attempt to prove that humans are more than just mobile turd factories. You are going to fail again. I don't want him to fail. Eternity you're going to spend in the bad place being choked by me. Who will be doing the choking? That little eyebrow raise. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Met your mom halfway last night. <laughs> <laughs> the only sad thing is that she never got over her speech impediment <laughs> much over her many lives but she also helped me oh, i love your makeup oh it looks so cute you don't buy bras at home depot and they don't sell bras at home depot what the hell are you wearing men's back support harness and it worked in a pinch <laughs> i wish she was here I feel like Chidi should be there. Can someone grab his arm? My hands are kind of full with his butt. Uh, how did you get so jacked? Well, then the exercise alleviated anxiety. He started doing push-ups and basically never stopped. That's so Chidi, though. All right, everyone. Let's get this done. Here we go, guys. And the results will have ramifications for eternity. So no pressure. A petition to bring back Ally McBeal. Oh, where's the pen? I need to sign. Zendaya type? Is it Zendaya or Zendaya? Zendaya. Or I, I, don't, oh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Voila! Who got better? Had a lot of time alone in there. Bam! 12%. Moan got 12% better than she was on Earth. Bam! GD26. Oh my god, Brent though. Brent, Brent, come on now. Oh, four. I got born in the deep end of a pool right after my mom did a cannonball. <laughs> she died when I was pretty young. I lost her to the big sea. So we called the crocodile that lived by my house. Um, uh, I'm just playing. It was cancer. Watch me do a handstand. Oh, God, Jason. He once told me the closest he'd ever gotten to having a pinata when a seagull ate too many condoms on the beach and exploded. But despite it all... The way he's smiling at that. I could see something special inside him that no one else could see. It was a multicolored blob of positivity right behind his sternum. That's so cute. <laughs> nice to have a true dirtbag buddy. They did get on at the beginning, right? Stay them forever. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Why they place Chidi on that? That Eleanor, Jason, and Tahani got better in the original experiment. So that's six people. Oh, good call. You're going to sit there and say that every single friend belongs in hell? Maybe Ross and Rachel, Monica and Joey, definitely Chandler. Phoebe, though. But Phoebe? Phoebe was great. Sending your little cockroach buddies back to Earth, all of it was for nothing. Bam! You're glue. Call up the active files of four people still alive on Earth. Donna Shellstrop and her stepdaughter Patricia. Oh my god, yeah, because they did what they could. I love this twist. I love this twist. If I'm wrong, I'll be the first to say we're glue. I don't think any of you is using that right. Point is, people improve when they get external love and support. Nature versus nurture. 
What that number can't tell you is who he could have become tomorrow. That little voice crack that he just did got me right in the feels. Ted nails it again. We can all agree the real winner is polite discourse. Choke on a dookie. They are extremely annoying. Them. <laughs> Jason taught me that I have value beyond what I do for other people and that I could be happy instead of just cheerful. A place where she spent much of her life. A bar in a house she was not invited to. <laughs> Flattering and also vaguely problematic. Yeah, but whether she... <laughs> I never felt quite so seen as when she saw me. I channeled all of my love for you into this song. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the way she jumped, then. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who's left? Cute. We are here to celebrate. Uh, they've put him in the postal outfit. Because that was Eleanor's funeral. I just got that. That's amazing. Chidi was dead af, dead af. I, I, I can't sum up all my feelings about Chidi, so I'm gonna pass. What's Chidi doing here? Sorry, but I'm not letting him out of my sight again. I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, I forgot she's got a big, big old crush on Chidi. I've come to the conclusion that you're right. Holy, you won. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, too bad, Sean. In terms of how we handle this moving forward, obviously, Earth is cancelled. Uh, Earth is what now? All humans on Earth and in the afterlife will be extinguished. Roundabout way, I am actually rebooting L.A. McBeal. Congrats, Michael. You won. I can't believe that this is the way it's going. Life will evolve again, or maybe even something better. Maybe this time they won't have baby teeth. The whole thing is so weird, like they fall out, and then the bigger <laughs> teeth just grow out of that same... <laughs> I mean, it is a bit weird. Especially when you put it like that. Points just are. Oh, you know what? You're bad at your job. Guys! <laughs> you won, and you still somehow failed. Classic. Oh, shush, Sean. In maybe a billion years. I'm gonna miss somebody. I'm gonna miss somebody. So we'll see you at the crossroads, crossroads. See you at the crossroads. <laughs> Bye, y'all. What the hell? Give it back. No, it's in my void and you can't have it. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not in my void? No, it's in mine. But Janet's got it. Anyway, I'm with them now are you kidding me what true to you yeah but i also use the pages to wipe my butt so don't pop a stiffy just yet <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, sister hug yeah, okay get off me ew ew, hey. ew ew listen up it's not two of us it's all of us hi what up oh my god the chills yes let's go we have a group text now. I mostly send gifts of otters. <laughs> oh, annoying! Look at Janet's. The neutral Janet makes me crease every time. And marbleize you one by one until I get my stupid Earth rebooter thingy back. There is literally only one person here Didi. who is smart enough. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Not you, dummy. <laughs> How best to treat other people, and he is willing to sacrifice his own happiness to do it. If we're going to pull this off, we need Cheaty back. We got the speech anyway, guys. It is now or literally never. Wake him up. Not in this, Janet. Next. Guys, this show is getting so complex. When the judge turned to Michael and said, like, you've done it, you've won. Full body chills. I was so made up for him. Like, this is all the guy has wanted. This entire freaking time was to prove 
that his point to prove that the system is majorly flawed and that humans can change so then her going you think that they can change and you've proved that but the world's changed so much that it doesn't match the system anymore we're just gonna start over what and then you have janet like swooping in and stalling saving the day like oh saving all of humanity it's kind of poetic as well because we had them visit each other's funerals and say nice things about them and you know fulfill what their funeral wish was it's weird but it, at the same time it, it's poetic and then they end up being at all of humanity's funeral having now 45 minutes to save everything <laughs> it's just mad when eleanor couldn't say the things to chidi that she wanted to say i was like getting choked up but then when she ends up saying everything that she wanted to say anyway, oh, I got so emotional. It's just brilliant writing and brilliant performances and just everything. It's so good, guys. It's so good. I'm really glad that I started the show. Soon be completing it and I cannot wait to find out how it all ends. But I'm sure I've said this before, but it is going to be bittersweet because I am going to miss that like not knowing what's going to happen, where they're going to turn to. But I will say that this is a very rewatchable show. And I am sure that when I do finish it and I start from the beginning all over again, I will see things that I never saw on first watch. Like you guys, when you're commenting, you're like, oh, did you notice this? Or I took this from this episode or I took this from this show. And it's things that on first watch I potentially missed and i cannot wait to just relive it with a different outlook as well and i do think that the messages within the show uh, are so important and i just can't wait guys i just can't wait i want to watch the next one already i'll be honest but i don't think i'm gonna have the time to do it which is upsetting um but darcy carden you're an absolute legend ted as well everyone who am i kidding everyone on the show is incredible i love the comedy as always as well it just hits brent the minus one god damn you brent <laughs> but they still you know won just with that you know added twist of just gonna start everything over i just i don't know how this is gonna go so it's all on chidi now chidi is gonna wake be overwhelmed 100 percent uh it's a lot to take in um and then hopefully once he calms very quickly as well because you've got 45 minutes my guy he will come up with the the best solution uh, i don't think it'll be solely chidi it'll be a, um, a group effort because i think if i've learned anything from this show is that taking the good from other people is always beneficial. And I think that this this group of people just really gel well together, even though on paper they really shouldn't. But going through this whole experience definitely has brought them closer together and they have an understanding when it comes to, you know, all of humanity going bye-bye. So yeah, let's hope that they can do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this reaction. If you enjoyed it, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. But as always, there is no pressure here, guys, but I'd love to have you. I now have members as well if you want to click that join button. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Bye, guys. And now it's time for a comment from the Dat Pack. And today I've chosen the lovely Priscilla who says, I think the intrinsic motivation for trying to be better today than one was yesterday is one's personal commitment to self-improvement. Why would Bren need that though, if he was already the best? I sense that, uh, that sarcasm there. By the way, the lessons in this episode are some of the ones that really changed me because the reality is we'll always fuck things up. There's no way around it. We'll always make mistakes like Michael did earlier this season. And I can't think of a better strategy not to be stuck with old behavior patterns that don't do us any good anymore. Also, I love that you're watching the extended episodes because I'm also seeing a few scenes for the first time. So yes, we love that. Also, this comment was taken from my 406 uh, reaction. And for me, watching 407 had that lesson that Priscilla's talking about 
which is like something you hear something it resonates with a personal experience and then you want to you know better yourself and learn from the experience as well and even if the answers aren't there straight away just the fact that we've acknowledged that something is there is something you know it's frustrating when a person feels that there can be no growth you know because like priscilla said in regards to brent why would he need to change if he's already the best and it's those types of people that are really difficult people and i feel sorry for those people because there's no room for growth that there is no connections there and you live in this false world thinking that it's everybody else that is to blame for x y and z instead of looking at themselves and saying how could i potentially change this situation is it possibly me that is at fault here is there anything i can do to help another person whereas characters in the world like bren are so lost within their own personal bubble of thinking that they're great there is nothing wrong with them it's everyone else that has an issue and their issues are affecting me who's brilliant who cannot do any wrong and it is infuriating and i would be simone in a lot of these situations where i'm just like you can try and try and try and try, but there's always got to be a line. So yeah, that was my sort of takeaway when watching that episode. I mean, I'd love to know yours, Priscilla. Obviously, you don't have to go into details or anything like that. But to say, you know, we'll always mess up. We will always mess up, but there's always a solution. And I think that is so powerful is make these mistakes you have to learn from them if there is no learning there is no growth there is no input improvement you end up stuck if you don't do that this writing is so clever i love everything about it genuinely do i want to thank you priscilla for leaving your comment for watching my videos it means the world i really really appreciate it and for you taking the time to you know share your thoughts as well it means a whole lot so i hope you know that and yeah thank you so much and i hope to see you all for another video thanks for watching guys